Hello dear viewers, hope you all are doing good. Welcome to my channel. I am Anusha Naikwad, helping you to make your concepts easier. So today we will be studying about important concept of our chapter 1 of second year PUC statistics, vital statistics. In this chapter, in previous video, we have studied about what is vital statistics and also studied about the measurement of population. Today we will be studying entirely about what is fertility? So here fertility refers to the birth. The fertility is nothing but it always refers to the birth occurring to women, occurring to women, birth occurring to women of childbearing age that is 15 to 49. A woman's childbearing age is 15 years to 49 years. 15 years to 49 years. So fertility is nothing but births that is occurring to women of childbearing age 15 to 49, right? Next we have fecundity. Next concept is fecundity. Here it's the capacity of women to bear a child. Capacity of a woman to bear a child. It means that one woman can bear three children or the other woman can bear one child. It depends upon the medical condition or various factors. So fecundity is nothing but the capacity of a woman to bear a child. Here we have different measurements of fertility. And based on this, we have different problems which are very important from the examination point of view. Problems which will be important from the examination point of view based on each concept. First concept is crude birth rate. CBR, crude birth rate. We will be looking into each of this concept separately. Next, we have general fertility rate that is GFR, age specific fertility rate, ASFR and total fertility rate called as TFR. Today, first, let us entirely focus on crude birth rate. Like what is crude birth rate and let us look into the problems related to crude birth rate. Okay, so the first concept that we will be looking into is crude birth rate that is CBR. So CBR is nothing but average number of life birth life birth occurring to 1000 individuals in a year so here why do we consider 1000 individuals is that instead of uh, checking the population or checking the life births for the entire population we pick out a sample from it and try to understand the life birth or try to understand the severe of that particular locality so we just pick up thousand individuals and try out our what is CBR according to for that locality. So here it's nothing but average number of life birth occurring to 1000 individuals. So here our formula will be number of life birth, number of life birth divided by average population into 1000. It can be also by B by P into 1000. CBR is equal to B by P into 1000. Here this is one of the simplest method okay and it is very easy to calculate it does not need any detailed information so here the advantages of this method can be it's very simplest it's very easier easy to calculate does not need any detailed information but here when we are calculating cbr we have mentioned here as individuals 1000 individuals these individuals can be men or women too so there is no differentiation between men or women so we consider when we are uh, solving problems related to crude birth rate we consider both that is men and women that is male and female both here there is no differentiation of sex composition so this is a crude birth rate where this advantages can be there is no differentiation on sex composition we cannot so this is disadvantages cannot compare birds of two localities here and when we are speaking of fertility, usually we consider only women of a particular locality or a town. 
but here when we are speaking of cbr we consider men and women as i mentioned so here there is no differentiation or both men and women uh, okay women and men are taken into consideration while it is is simplest and easy to calculate there are few disadvantages too mainly we have to just remember our formula that is number of life birth in a year by average population in a year into 1000 if we know formula we can write meaning if we know the meaning we can write the formula let us solve the first problem you can take a screenshot or i suggest you to maintain a notes and write it down first problem is like from the following calculate cbr that is crude birth rate so the information given here is like age we are from 0 to 14 then male population for 0 to 14 age we have 46000 then female population 43000 and life birth is nil because our child bearing age is 15 to 49 so 0 to 49 0 to 14 it will be nil So fifteen to twenty-four, we have thirty-four thousand, thirty-five thousand, and here the life birth is six thousand eight hundred forty-six. So on, all the information is given. Firstly, we are writing down the formula of CBR. So we all know the formula for the CBR is total number of life birth in a year. divided by average population in a year into 1000 right so here we have to total the columns that is total number of life birth the total number of life birth here will be 8413 female population total will be 1 lakh 74000 female population total will be 1 lakh 74000 and the total for male population will be 1 lakh 79000 right now let us substitute it in our formula so cbr is equal to life birth we have 8413 8413 divided by now average population in a year we have studied that cbr considers both male and female so we have to add both the terms that is 1 lakh 79000 plus 1 lakh 74000 into 1000 right since it's average population or total population in a year here when we are calculating crude birth rate we consider both male and female population so irrespective of child bearing age again irrespective of child bearing age we consider whole population so here it will be 8413 divided by 3 lakh 53000 into 1000 so cbr is equal to 23.88 so our crude birth rate is 23.88 i hope you got this sum if you have any queries you can put it down into the comment section and i'll be happy to help you out see you in the next video